Hey guys, Joshua Gadamu here, just showing off my amazing co-editor, David O'Dell. Um, this is what he looks like. Yeah, he's got lots of hair. Oh, he has a face! <laughs> I didn't know this. Turn back around, look better the other way. There we go. No, <laughs> just kidding, man. No, David's awesome. He is currently editing <coughs> Gundam Father of Peace for us. Um, these are all mouth pictures. This is Makuve yelling at Razor. We had some issues, just uh, issues on my part, with scripts and lines and things like that. And so actually, this project it had two scripts, and one person got recorded with script A, and the other person got recorded with script B, and it got filmed and set up to be edited on script A, but we have more lines, it's the lot more important lines are on script B, and so um, we're actually salvaging it. We're salvaging it, because it would take more to refilm. Also, the razor scene itself, the background wiggled. And so we are going to probably splice pictures so that the part of the background that's moving doesn't move. I don't know. It'll be interesting. We're going to try and get by without having to refilm a scene because that takes a lot of time. Oh. But if not, you know, like, we're still getting the Makuve scenes edited and those ones are good. We just had to change up our scripting and break down a little bit. But the scripts were very similar. I don't know why there was two versions of them. Maybe I upgraded one and took the wrong ones to the person's house when their voice recorded them. I don't know. But this is the last segment needed for part four to be completed. So we are hard at work. And David is awesome. Yep. And his job is meticulous. It involves breaking down the lines by... Vibration. By vibration. Now we go, okay, well, this is a large vibration. It should be a mouth five, the largest mouth. This is the smallest vibration. It should be a mouth one. Then everything breaks down and smaller in there. And that's how we do our mouth animation. Uh, as a follow-up, we listen to it and make sure there's no ooh or ahs or things that should have kind of a roundish mouth. And then we change it up, you know, based on listening. It. But usually the vibrations ends up getting it like 95% accurate. And we just touch up the last 5%. This project is a little interesting. Because there's some movement with the character as he's talking. So there's five mouths for every movement. Five potential mouths that we had to draw in uh, GIMP. Alright, that's enough behind the scenes stuff. i got to get back to doing what I'm doing. And David needs to get back to work! I am working. Don't pay you to just sit there. You have it all. Oh. There's all volunteers. That's right. Huh. Okay, well, take your time. Take your time. Doing a good job. Doing a good job. Free cookies for the volunteers. Hopefully, I can find some cookies. Wait! I'm not finished with you yet!